Members of the Gauteng Legislature are not convinced about the viability of the further rollout of the Gauteng Rail Facility into other areas in the province. Maybe it's in the wrong place. Maybe it's targeting the wrong areas. Uh, the one thing I do know is it's very expensive. Uh, and, it's, and it's a heavy cost. And I think we as a committee have been raising this uh, just in committee engagements when we've had opportunity to, to interact with yourselves, not around about the expansion, but about cost implications. Uh, and I know that uh, yourselves are looking at different packages for students, etc. But is that a possibility that the cost is a detriment to people using the car train? The three-phase project is in its early stages, but has already seen some serious objections from some community members. The announcement of the route has already impacted the property sales um, and the ability to sell in Sharonee. Um, we have had a meeting, as I, I think it was the 13th of July, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a public meeting with Caltrain, and they did explain the compensation process. But there is no answer as to how the current value of the properties is being affected. Um, and we just want to understand what kind of plan does GMA have to mitigate against that. And this was supported by members of the Gauteng Legislature who took Gauteng management to task on the practicality of taking the system to communities that are already struggling to make ends meet. What happened to the people that were using Prasa? Where are they? They are not using Gauteng. Why not? Because they can't afford it. The Haltrain Management Agency have defended the project. They say the new face of Haltrain will be more affordable to cater for all in the province. That then begs the question, so who is the Haltrain targeting at? And it was originally targeted at people who use their cars. To say, get out of your cars, reduce congestion, um, and have a cheaper, a cheaper ride. But I think a few things have, have, have changed, and Chair and you and members have, have touched on this. There are a number of people who do not have cars, so for them it's prohibitively expensive. What do we do about that? And we've shared with the committee, we think that there should be a differential, fair approach, not just for train, but for any public transport system that picks up either your individual characteristics, i.e. are you a student or a pensioner, or where you board and get off on the train. Members of the Gauteng Legislature have listened keenly to presentations this by Gauteng and some affected community members. The Portfolio Committee on Roads and Transport is on a mission to review processes for the current financial year through which it will scrutinize all budgeted initiatives of the department, including the Gauteng Expansion Project, vowing to ensure that all monies budgeted and the raised concerns around the project are taken into consideration in ensuring the sustainable service delivery and a conducive affordable and efficient public transport for the people of Gauteng. Katleho Lohodi, SABC News, Johannesburg.